My name is Angelina Avalon. I'm the makeup designer for Lestat. And we're sitting here with Megan, Megan Ryan King, one of our wonderful um, actors. Um, and this is her commedia look. It's a very theatrical 18th century look. We start um, with very pale makeup. She uses three different products. We start with a white powder, a peachy powder. We mix these two colors together, a very pale, um, pale base and then we finish the look with this porcelain white powder. It's eight makeup looks. She has to do her makeup um, on her own. Everything is preset. I mean, what's really amazing about this show is that all of those are quick changes. And some of the changes happen in the dressing room and some of the changes, of course, happen backstage in the hallways. We have created little areas, shelves were built, we have mirrors set. And all these baskets are in order, so the actors know exactly where their baskets are after, you know, everything is choreographed. I mean, there's so much choreography backstage as well as on stage, but figuring out well, where the changes happen is so important in order for um, the actors to get into their hair, makeup, costumes, and, and, get, and get to places in time. When we came back to New York, of course, we had Tech Week, and we continued to refine the looks and address the changes and work on it, practice and teach and, and just practice. I mean, I think by doing it, so many shows, um, it, I mean, some things got simplified, of course, because the time got shorter for some of the changes, so we had to simplify some of the changes. So again, we went back to the drawing board and looked at everything that we had and we had used and sort of had to pare it down to the essentials to create, to achieve that same look, but with less product and less time. And most of the times when we do quick changes, once I establish the look, we do a test and then we really time it. I mean, you look at your watch and you have to make sure that you have enough time to get it done. So it's pretty amazing of how good you've all, you know, I mean, you all do such an amazing job. Well, especially with this gothic yeah. horror, I remember a huge part of it was just figuring out which brush to use or if I wet the brush, will it go on faster without without falling, falling on, your on you because you don't and... really have time to restore the makeup and you know no. you work with s such high contrast colors that every brush stroke has to be specific there is no time for fixing that's the thing I mean it has to be very precise yeah. so it's really I mean for us it's like you know we start with every scene in every in every basket we have brushes so we know exactly what brush mm -hmm. to use for what color and uh, you have to make sure that you know you don't take the the blush brush with the red rouge when you do the the gothic horror show. <laughs> so it's a lot of a lot of tracking, a lot a lot of figuring out. What's fascinating because you see Megan, we see all these different looks, and she's amazing. She has an amazing face. I mean, she can she's a chameleon. She can transform from you know a young, 18th century character, a comedian, actress to you know a vamp. And she looks amazing. She wears this long wig and a very sexy dress. For a beautiful woman, she has this very sort of classic, glamorous girl, but you'd never know it's the same, it's the same actress. This is sort of extreme makeup. <laughs> and you know, after we, it's, it's fast getting into that. Um, and she has to work. Long, it's I very quick. You had to be the white bottle and we're like, how fast can you put this on? Go. Yeah. <laughs> just and, and of course, and now you have to do it um, off stage, in the dark, with somebody, dark, with somebody flying. into the mirror. <laughs> So you have to come and, and document that. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs>